when I say that God is good, like I'm not exaggerating. Um, I'm not trying to convince you. Everything that has taken place this weekend just gives me confirmation after confirmation after confirmation that I'm exactly where I need to be, when I need to be. I believe that God is working all things out for my good. When he, when he wants me to be somewhere, he's gonna place me there. When he wants me to do something, he's gonna have me do it. I may not even know why I'm doing things. When when he has other people doing things, saying things to me, it's a reason. It was it, all things are working for. It's not not just the things I want to work for my good. I'm like a lotus and I'm about to bloom. So the baby give me room. So it's the 1st of October. So I decided to take me a trip. I know a lot of times when we are single, we get in this alone, lonely, but it's critical to identify your current feeling. Do you feel lonely or are you just alone? To me, I'm not lonely, okay? I'm just alone. Um, I rock solo. I do not mind. I take trips by myself all the time now. Like, I'm so comfortable with myself. It's like I'm very picky on who I give my energy to. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if I'm dating you or if you're a friend. Y'all hear Princess back here crying. I we we better go walk, Mama, so you can use it. Hold on, hold on. But yeah, so it's so important to identify all those feelings of loneliness because loneliness can lead to desperation. And if you're desperate, you just end up with anybody. But if you're just alone, you know, everybody has those. It's getting cold outside, okay? It's getting a little cool outside. It's cuffing season. But it's so important to recognize whether or not you're lonely or just alone. So... So excited to film the rest of my trip and give you all little nuggets here and there um, throughout this particular video. So, see y'all later. So it's time to get out, get my night started, have me a little nice little quiet time. You know, I gotta say quiet, but you know, just a little me time, you know, chance to kind of spoil myself, love myself, dress up for myself, because a lot of times I get dressed up for these guys, you know, and we don't even do that for ourselves on a regular basis. Like, the only reason we dress up is for the satisfaction of looking good for somebody else, but let's try looking good for ourselves today, okay? All right, see y'all later. Y'all, y'all, that restaurant was so good, y'all. Rock steady, rock good, rock steady, y'all. That restaurant was so good. My first time ever trying Caribbean food, and it was a whole vibe. I sat at the bar, um, a little conversation here and there, but nothing too major. I really just like asked the girl next to me, like, oh, how was her food? Because I got everything that she got. So I got the jerk wings, and I got the shell special, which was barbecue lamb chops and um, black eyed peas. I was a little skeptical at first about the little black eyed peas, but oh my gosh. Now I just got a before picture of my food. But let me tell you, <laughs> y'all would be talking about me if y'all saw the after picture, okay? I didn't leave nothing. All I left with lamb chop bones, okay? Just some tips on like solo date night, which is a date night by yourself. I think it's a good idea to kind of sit at the bar. I just observed this girl, just talking to the bartender. You know, like I said, I'm an introvert, but if you like to have a conversation with people, or if you're like one of those people that, you know, kind of awkward going out, or you know, you feel like you have to talk to people, that's a great place to see is the bar. Now me, I like to be myself. If they had any tables for one person, I would be sitting at um, a table, reading a book or something, because I love just kind of like, shook everything out around me um but i'm glad i had a chance to set the bar because it kind of forced me to kind of just be social in a sense sort of like still was really you know reserved but um 
But yeah, you don't have to have a crowd, people around you, or even a man or a, a girlfriend to feel like you are enjoying yourself. Yeah, I had so much fun. I'm enjoying the opportunity to try new things while I'm single because a lot of times we think that we have to wait to try things or we have to wait to do things like oh i can't wait till i get a boyfriend or girlfriend so i can do this or i can do that or do this with them like no try by yourself first like i think it's really um important to try those things by yourself first of all look time is of the essence you don't even know if you even get to experience that with that person so why wait on something that you have no knowledge of right now do it by yourself i mean tomorrow's not promised so get out there date yourself love on yourself cater to yourself and yeah i don't need a man October the second, um, and I didn't really get much sleep. I did, but I did. It was good, good sleep. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm just excited to kind of just have this time to myself in a different city. I like that. I like those vibes. Like just being able to just travel, try new things. Um, so I was really excited about breakfast this morning. <laughs> For one, because I want to try this breakfast spot this Uber driver told me about. Um, so yeah, um, so I already had my quiet time with God. Um, so now I'm gonna get dressed. See y'all later. Okay, y'all. So I just got back from breakfast. I'm gonna take me a nap. That breakfast was good, y'all. The name of the place was Breakfast at Barnes, y'all. It was so good. I'm glad I got in when I did because when I was getting ready to leave, it was so packed. Um, like, but the Uber driver did tell me that that place is usually packed and people aren't really able to just, you know, get come in and just sit down. And so, luckily, I'm riding solo, so, so those are the perks of riding solo, okay? You can get seated faster, okay? So, it was an hour and a half wait, but. I got seated at the bar right in there when I made it. Um, also, what I love about this restaurant is they have their own personal valet parking like in the garage, y'all. So yeah, it was good. I um, I got the the yard something. It was the yard something, y'all. But it was good, y'all. It was delicious. I was more social today. Um, I guess because I'm just was excited for a new day too. Um, but I did meet a lady today. She was also um having her a little me day eating by herself and stuff like that so we sat at the bar and we were talking and stuff and y'all guess what see god is good see see listen god is good because um i asked her what well she ended up telling me that she was going to a um an event that's happening in Atlanta. i knew nothing about this event y'all um it's called praise in the park and um, kier she and the other gospel artists will be there so i bought my ticket right there and then she was like you finna you gonna go and i was like yeah i'm gonna like there's everything like it's more than i was asking god you know i just want to enjoy this this time you know also get some things done but i also just want to enjoy this time by myself and he he shows them show out. I'm so excited, y'all. Like that was exactly what I needed because I was gonna go to the uh, trap museum, but I was like, uh, I ain't know if I was just doing just I was doing something. But I'm glad she told me about that uh, event that was going on. So I'm so excited. I see you all later. concert blessed me it blessed me and oh my gosh Akira Shear is so beautiful she's a beautiful soul 
I enjoy everybody that she brought with her. Praise, worship, and the atmosphere. Like, I cannot explain it. Different races, different faces, different ages, different sizes. Like, just all coming together to praise one God. And that's so beautiful to me. And the things that Kira Shear said, it just felt like it was just me and her. It felt so personal. I feel everything. I know for a fact that God placed me in Atlanta this weekend for a reason. Y'all didn't know about no praise no park. I ain't know nothing about that. It, it has brought so much clarification to me because this entire journey, like, has been an outside of my my relationship journey, my my career journey, my my just my purpose, my healing, my health, like all of those things. It has been a journey. Like people don't realize that while I was going through all that, when I was healing, like the devil was attacking me because he didn't want me to do that. He didn't want me to spread that message. He didn't want me to show the word that I'm healing. I'm healed. He didn't want me to tell the word that he didn't want me to spread the gospel, but everything that could possibly get in my way did. But guess what? I pushed past it. And the whole time I was pushing past the guy was right there with me the entire way. Helping me through, talking me through, getting me through, loving me through. And I'm so grateful that um somebody said um today while they were singing a song. They said, it's okay if nobody was there for you. And, and, and I, I must say, like, I had a lot of people that, that checked on me, would just let me know, you know, God placed you on my heart. And I, I'm so thankful for that. When God first gave me this call, when he first called up on me to speak, I was like, wow. Like, me? Like, I didn't know where it was going. I don't know why, but I knew that he wanted me to speak. He wanted me, and, and, and it's like, as soon as he told me these things, I started imagining, like, okay, if God want me to do this, he must have something great for me, and I gotta do it. Like, I ain't know what it was that he had for me. I, I just knew that he wanted me to speak. The people that I can bless, um, and, and more importantly, it was people that I love, that I cherished, and the people that I thought I could count on, Counting me out. <laughs> like, I have a testimony. Like, the people that I, I thought I could count on to, to support me, to be there for me, counting me out. And see, I have been saying this all along, you know, um, throughout my journey. But it was so it was so much confirmation when I heard one of the, one of the uh, musicians say, it's okay if nobody was there for you. That's okay. Because guess what? That just means that God gets all the glory. Okay? Nobody else can say, oh, I, I helped her through this. Or she was down on her last and I gave it. No. Nobody can do that. I, I remember as a child being passed from home to home. And people thought they were my saving grace. People thought they were my saving grace. Oh, if. And, and I'm going to say this. When God has placed you in someone's life to be a blessing. Don't hold it over their head. Either you you did it because he wanted you to do it. You, yes, you had a decision. God gives us free will. But guess what? If you had denied that calling that he that he wanted you to do something, he was just going to bless it, that bless that person another way. So don't ever thank you somebody saving grace. God, <laughs> God is our saving grace. That's, that's who gives us grace and mercy. No human being can give you grace and mercy. So understand that. I'm going to share some clips with y'all from the concert. And I also have a message from Kiara Sheard that spoke directly to me. And I was like, this ain't nobody but God. Because I hit the record button. As soon as some told, some told me she finna say something that's gonna bless you. It's like as soon as I hit that record button, she started speaking to me. Like, this is what you need to hear. And you need to play over and over and over again until you get in your head that God has a purpose for you. And he's protecting you because you're walking in your purpose. So a lot of times we get scared of the enemy. And don't get me wrong. The enemy is going to attack you. He going he I actually had a dream about the enemy. And I didn't realize it at first until I started talking about the dream. And in the dream, I was in the car and a wasp had got in. And I was like, ah, oh, let me roll the window down. I kind of And it was crazy how the wasp got in. It didn't even come through the window, y'all. It came through the vent. It just flew out the vent. And I was like, what is that? It was so red. It was just a red big old wasp. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, just swayed it out the window. And it went, it went out the window. I rolled it up real quick, 
but my other side, my driver's side was cracked. I didn't know it. And it flew in through that way. Now this entire time while I was doing all this, I didn't realize if nobody was in the car or not. But they warned me. They was like, there it came, it was like it came through that end. I'm like, huh? Like, what well, first of all, where you come from? I don't I don't remember a face, I don't remember nothing. But all I remember is that they told me that the, the walls came in through the other window and I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, oh, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the walls gone. Yeah, I ain't never been, I ain't, I never been stung by a walls for a beast. So I'm like, I, I'm like just, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The person just reached their hand towards the walls and squished it. And I was just like, when I thought about that dream, I was just like, man, like I was trying to tell me because he talks to me in my dreams. Um, and I just realized that the higher you go up, the, the the closer you get, the closer you get to what God has for you. And every day I'm getting closer. Every day I'm getting closer. But it just let me know the closer I get to it, the enemy is going is, is still he's still trying to figure out how he can how he can distract you, how he can get you off your A game because he don't want what you got to get out. He don't want you to spread the word. He don't want you to talk about how good God is. He don't want that. So the enemy is never gonna stop coming after you. And during this whole break, like I've been taking I but during this whole during this time to myself, I've just been taking the opportunity to just <sighs> And that's why this single day in the waiting journey is so important to me because that's that has been my 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 biggest distraction throughout my life relationships, um, a romantic relationships specifically because I was searching for love in the wrong places. <laughs> we ain't gonna get into that right, but I was searching for love in the in the wrong places and <laughs> stay tuned. That's all I have to say. Stay tuned. So I know it gets hard, but I also understand that the believer grieves a little different. And it's because I'm walking with the Lord. I dare you to turn to your neighbor and say, settle here. Settle here. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like an eagle. I know you've been waiting for a long time. I know you've been wondering, God, when you're going to get back to me. But your strength is being renewed. Because there's a new level of strength that you have to occupy the land that you're called to. There's a new level of joy that God is releasing to you. And it's not happiness. It's not just happiness because... Happiness is only dependent upon what's happening. But the joy of the Lord, it keeps me going. Huh? The joy is what keeps me going. Some people are jealous of you and you don't know why. It's because of the joy. The glory that rests on your life. So stop losing time by trying to help them understand a kingdom principle. It's just the glory that rests on my life. And I walk in humility, but there's a confidence that I have because I have friends in high places. You waiting on a man down here to fix something for you, but I've got a man upstairs who works in the supernatural. People will begin to say, I thought of you today. Or the Lord put it on my heart to give you this. Or solutions begin to unravel your way. I dare you to say, there's no explanation that I can give you about what God is doing in my life. because I'm trying to work on it but I just want to say once I gave my life to the Lord completely things turned around for me I began to see things differently I didn't respond to everything so when it was time for me to operate in my purpose I had all the energy that I needed because I understood that it was not my assignment to respond to everything I tell you to turn to your neighbor and say I understand the assignment just the Instagram song. It's what I believe as a 
child of the Father. I'm now sitting on my throne now. I'm not asking you 